Okay, we're back for an update. I'll try to keep this pretty short of an intro. Um, my microphone stuffed up these clips on my laptop. Um, I guess it was just my fault. Uh, my computer, other computer, automatically picks up my microphone when I plug it in and uh, expected it to do the same with my laptop and it didn't. So there's a couple of clips that um, don't have audio on them. So I'm going to be trying to commentate over them. It is um, August now when I am doing this. So it's uh, a couple of months after the server uh, has actually ended. So we'll see how we go. I'll try my best to get all the info that I can. Um, I'll be watching my video in the background so I can do this, but yeah. Okay, let's get into it. Here's an update. Uh, just looking at the top 10 now, you can see us in Raiders. We are quite ahead of the second Raider already. Um, I think the week is just reset here. And we're already up like 5 mil. Um, yeah, so this is the guy that got second last week. He raided 50 mil total. Um, and yeah, I'll back to show you what we raided for the week now. So here we are, we rated 114 million compared to his 50 million. So we were over double him in the fourth week of the server, which is uh, pretty insane. So this server's going really good for us. And yeah, weeks just reset. It looks like it has been about seven hours or so, maybe eight hours since the week reset. There's our troop count. Uh, the hammer's looking pretty nice actually. Um, here I've been showing you that um, I'm starting to do a bit of merging as we have a lot of resources. So in 03 we're merging those. We've maxed out our capital for the great granaries, great warehouses, got all those done. We've got nice storage there. Incoming attack. Let's check that one out. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember this attack off the top of my head. Um, but it doesn't look very special. It looks like it's just a defensive guy. He has maxed warehouses um, and granary, so if anything, it's gonna be a suicide. Uh, stacking the platypus defense in there, ready for the attack. Um, yeah, looking at platypus's troop counts here. So there's quite a lot of defense. Um, didn't start making it until pretty late in the server, so that's going pretty awesome. And the statistics, we are top five population. And we are checking out the newbie. Uh, oh, he's actually banned, I remember this. So the newbie got banned as well as, um, oh, what was his name? Uh, Prof Minus, that's it. So Prof Minus, we thought they were multi-accounts um, at the start of the server. And I guess it looks like they actually are because they're both banned. Um, only one of them does end up getting unbanned and that's the newbie. So Prof Minus stays banned and is not unbanned for the rest of the server. So it definitely looks like that they were um, uh, multi-accounting there. And yeah, we expect that's the end of that clip, cool. Okay, we have another update here. It looks like it's about uh, 28 hours after the last one. Update on the rating, 42 mil about, well, 41.9 to 13. So that's massive difference. That's like four times difference almost. The update of the hammer, you can see there that it's grown quite a lot in those hours. Uh, showing you the treasury. We have the large boots active. I think this is the first time we activated the boots all server and yeah it just blew everyone out of the park so you can see that we're like over three times the number two radar and it was awesome first time we used boots all server and yeah you can really see the difference um, I think that's the end of this clip okay another update it's been about 24 hours we're on 68 million, the second's 18 million, 50 mil gap. It's about three and a half times the value. It's absolutely insane. I've never seen gaps this big in rating. It's crazy. 
look how grouped the rest of them are um, in comparison to us. Like, it's insane. Never seen something like it. Troop counts. Here we go. There's the Hammer, the TT villages. So in, you'll see in 03 that we're training Swordsmen and Thunders. That is actually to merge into 06. So this is where we started making um, a second Hammer. And we decided to do that in 06 because it was in um, a pretty alright region. Large boots. It was close to a lot of people. And it was, it was really good farming there. It was one of our better farming villages. 04 wasn't such a great farming village. Um, yeah, we really needed it in 06 because it could self-sustain itself. Like, uh, that sounded stupid. But, yeah, it could sustain itself on resources that it raided no matter what negative it got to, really. Um, so, yeah, that's why we decided there. Um, but, yeah, I was, think I was just talking about the, the large boots here and the gold that we got bought, and that was my jewel that bought that. Uh, my jewel actually decided to leave the server shortly after he bought that, which was weird. Uh, he didn't, didn't even actually say goodbye. Uh, he kind of just disappeared. Uh, had some real life issues, I guess. We're top three population, so we're simming like crazy. Uh, haven't achieved a village, I'm pretty sure. Maybe we've achieved one or two villages. But yeah, I don't usually settle this much, and um, yeah, it's definitely uh, worth it to do in this mode. You kind of have to settle a lot more at the start than you would chief. And yeah, you can see here that we're just the queues are just keeping themselves up. Every village is running the small trainer um, that we're training troops in, obviously. And yeah, there's there's no stopping of queues at any time whatsoever. And yeah, you've got to just keep pumping those parties. Like, always be pumping the parties. Um, especially in Fire and Sand, you need villages quickly to capture regions. There's no excuse. Like, you have to run parties. You must, if you want to win this server as an alliance. Okay, I think here we go and have a quick look at the alliance, the members. Yeah, so, just showing you those. And now, here's the regions. If you've played before, you'll know what most of these regions do, probably. Um, it's not ideal. I wish we had more regions. I wish we had small boots. I wish we had unique trainer or unique boots and small trainer. But yeah, since Platypus went into the leadership, um, we took a hell of a lot more regions, we were a hell of a lot more coordinated, um, and that really boosted our alliance uh, quite a lot. And that's the end of that clip, so we'll go to the next one now. Okay, here's another update. Uh, this clip's about three days after. We're in the top 10 attackers with 41,000. Um, you can see the rest of the top 10 attackers. Looks like there's some hits. Uh, rank 1 Raider. Yeah, so we're triple number 2 Raider with 156 million. Uh, just insane. Like over 100 million more. That's how the army's looking. 60k swords, 30k hadrons is pretty sweet. The swords in the 06 and the thunders there are growing super fast. We've got like 61,000 thunders now, which is sweet as. Um, yeah, it's going really good. Like, this would have to be one of the, the best armies on the server, I'm guessing. Um, we did start it a bit late, so there's probably some Teutons that are actually better than us, and we didn't have the trainer till late, so yeah. So here we're going to look at some reports, it looks like, finally. Some good reports coming. Um, nah, that's just a farm, that's not a good report. That one is uh, not so great either for the time of the server, but yeah. Killing that defense. This is where we got most of our off points for the top 10 attackers. Just clearing little stuff like that. It's nothing major yet, but yeah, just clearing out farms and killing stuff like we love to do. That's the cropper. The cropper's already minus 11,000 on a 15 cropper. Um, the reports start getting uh, better, starting to get better after this point. So 
Yeah, as you can see, the parties are still going 24-7, keeping them going. Ten great parties a day, which is insane. Making a shitload of culture points. Uh, actually, that's 11 great parties a day, including the spawn. So, yeah, that's um, pretty insane. The top ten, we're still in the top three population. Still just settling villages, not cheating them. Um, Platypus is catching up. Uh, our alliance holds the top four population, which is uh, pretty funny. That's how our cropper looks. So, working on all level 17s at the moment. A couple level 16s left to go in there. That a hammer's at minus 180,000. Pretty easily maintained by the amount that we raid, obviously. So, when you're raiding 100 mil more than a second, you've got spare resources. Um, yeah, the queues are at 12 hours on the trainer for barrack stable workshop. Pretty much it. all the queues, thunders, swords in other villages as well. 06 I see is not training swordsmen there, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Slacking a bit. Workshop, over 12 hour queues there. Uh, so great stable and great barracks are pumping as well. So not as big queues there, but yeah, they're still pumping. We're running them 24 seven as well. Um, running the greats is exactly the same as merging with um, with resources. It costs the exact same amount, so I'd probably prefer to use the great barracks and great stable rather than merge them because you don't have to uh, send them across to the village and then merge them small portions at a time. You could just already merge there because <laughs> you're training them there. <laughs> so really. You only want to use the merge feature as when you can run the great barracks, great stable 24 seven, and you still got a lot of leftover resources. Then you can start merging them with resources. So I think I'm just talking a little bit about the Alliance here. It's starting to fall apart. Um, they don't like Platypus as a leader, despite all these regions we're taking with him in leadership. Um, yeah, they, it's, for me, it's starting to fall apart. Slight Titan boots. We almost got the small boots. So when we get small boots, that's when it's going to be insane. So much better than the large boots. But the only good thing about the large boots is that you can run the small trainer and the large boots at the same time. Here's a look at the victory points. So we're, uh, our alliance is in third with Exodus and Pandemic ahead of us. So Pandemic definitely looks better than Exodus at this point for me. They've kind of planned well, taken good regions, and they're starting to now catch on to Exodus. And um, I won't be surprised if we see Pandemic ahead of Exodus in a week or two. Um, it's probably going to take that long because you yeah, don't get a whole lot of victory points more than them per day at the moment. But... Yeah, definitely, I think they'll be rank one before we know it. Alliance, uh, our alliance is rated 405 million, we're 150 of that million. So, if we were on our own, we could be in rank four radar by ourselves uh, pretty easily. Probably rank three, because I'd probably f be farming this alliance as well. But yeah. Uh, not too bad. The top of 10 attackers of the Alliance. Pandemic and Exodus have been going at it by the looks of it. You can see the top 10 attackers and then the top 10 defenders. It looks like there's um, been some action between Pandemic and Exodus. And yeah, I think here yeah, I'm just talking about I'm happy how the account's looking uh, troop-wise. And uh, yeah, farming from four villages is pretty awesome. That's probably why we're so far ahead of everyone in the Raiders because we're farming from four villages, four different regions, and we're really just maximizing that. Probably 04 is our worst farming village, with spawn and 06 being really good. And then the obviously the the Hammer Village is the best farming one, mainly because it's got more troops. 
Um, here it looks like I'm just scanning out uh, new farms. I'm not sure what I'm showing you here. This is still recording after the server's finished. Still mic issues. Um, hopefully they're fixed soon. Um, I haven't checked ahead to see how many clips I've got to do, but this clip looks like it's about three quarters over, so I don't think there's too much more to talk about. This might seem a little dragged on. Um, it's hard to know what I was talking about at the time, I don't really remember. Uh, I think I was just talking about move, make sure you move your troops and use the helmet. I think I've shown the farm list here. So this is our farm list. So we have the big cows, which is this one, obviously. And this is where we may raid most of our resources. As you can see, like those 400 thunders are coming back full, like every time. Like th these are the, that's the bread and butter of our farm list. Then we've got the smaller farms, smaller farms, smaller farms, just that micro raiding crap that no one likes to do. Then we've got the hay join list which is pretty much like another another big cow list. It's pretty much all over a hundred hay joins in that list. And yeah, they farm them really well. Really, really good actually. And yeah, you can see a lot of them are coming back pretty much full or half full every time. There's, uh, the hammer must be moving as to why those raids are not fully sent out, but there's really no trouble managing the raids. Like it, even if we're sending them every uh, 15 minutes, then yeah, they, they never stop. We probably need more farms actually, because um, we always have too many troops out. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just sending the farm list now. There's quite a few farms. You can see how long this buddy takes. Like it's so annoying having massive farm lists because um, it takes forever to send them and it's even worse on phone when I'm at work and shit. So you can see there in the spawn we have another big list there with our bigger farms. And yeah, look at how long this takes. Like, I don't know if this is because I've got slow internet, maybe some of you Europeans um, have fast internet or something. But yeah, it takes me forever to send farm lists. And that's the end of that clip. And hopefully I did all right commentating over it. Um, not the best commentator live, so I'm probably not a very good commentator when it's past the, the, the fact. And yeah, hopefully I did all right. The reports start getting pretty exciting soon. So definitely look out for the next, next video. They should start getting, um, much better. That I can promise you.